Right, determine whether this function is one-to-one -one and then find its inverse. Okay, so we can see it's one-to-one. -one. It'll, it'll pass the horizontal line test. Okay, now then, inverses. Now, have a look at this. I'm going to show you this. Uh, here's a visual way of figuring out what the inverse is. You kind of do the opposite to what's happening to this x right now. Okay, so the x is being doubled and then it's having three take away. Do the opposite. Add the three and halve it. So instead of doubling the x and taking away a three, add the three and halve it. Divide it by two. And that's what it's happened down here. Look at that. Add a three, divide by two. So x times by two, take away three. This time opposite, add a three, divide by two. Okay, now that's just a kind of visual way of looking what the inverse is, but this is how you do it. Here is the equation, okay? So here was the function, just write y instead of f of x. Okay, you change the letters, okay? Remember, interchange the x and the y, we'll have this. Now solve for y. Now can you see, I'm going to add a three, all right, then divide by two. Here we go, add a three to get rid of the negative three, and then divide by two. Okay, and that's what we've got here. So this is the inverse, but of course we write it like this. Remember the inverse notation? We write that. Okay, so instead of that as the original, this is the inverse. Okay, let's have a look at another one. <clears throat> x cubed plus 2. Well, it is 1 to 1. Okay, here's the x cubed plus 2 graph. It'll pass the horizontal line test. Right, here we go. Again, instead of f of x or g of x, write y. So y equals x cubed plus 2. Interchange the x and the y and solve for y. Can you see I'm going to take away a 2. So I would minus a 2 from both sides. There it is. And then if this is y cubed, I would cube root. So here we go. Here's the answer. I cube root both sides. So I'm going to cube root this as well. All right. And that's what I've got there. So this is the inverse. Again, instead of y, write the inverse notation. But it is the cube root of x minus 2. Okay. That's the inverse. And if we were to graph it, they haven't done it would, again, I'm not going to try it, I'm not going to attempt it, it would be a reflection across the y equals x line, if I was to graph that. Okay? Right, more. Oh, here we go. Um, okay, now if I was to do the inverse of this, I would actually get this. But what they're saying here is, is use the composition of functions to show that this is the inverse of this. Now that just means like you doing a fog. Remember fogs? So I'm going to either put this equation into this equation by replacing the x with it okay or I'll take this and put it there where the x is so either way first I'm going to do I'm going to put the 5x plus 8 into the inverse okay so I'm going to replace the x with 5x plus 8 so here we go remember this was the x here okay what should we do well if we positive 8 take away 8 we'll end up with just 5x over 5 5 will cancel, I'm left with x, okay? Let's do it the other way around. Let's put the x minus 8 over 5 into the x in 5x plus 8. Here it is. Instead of 5x plus 8, I've put this. Okay, well here, the 5s will cancel. Negative 8, positive 8, that leaves me with an x. This is what happens. If you do the composition of functions with the original and the inverse, you'll always get x. And I suppose, here we go, visuals, remember? One's a reflection over the y equals x line, okay? 